Ministry of New Life International Biblica University USA. I hereby present to you these graduates whose names herein appear, those present and those unavoidably absent for which are now stand proxy. Vice Chancellor, sir, these students have been thoroughly screened and found worthy and eligible to be admitted to the award of Bachelor of Arts degrees, Masters of Arts degrees, and Doctors of Philosophy degree, according to their respective discipline, Mr. Vice Chancellor. I hereby admit you all to graduate in your respective uh, disciplines today. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will just, to save time, I will read all the names as we will then now proceed. We have Mbom Blessings. Is it Mbom or Mbom? Bon blessing. Be named Missiology. Please come in that order. Please celebrate her. Ma Mango a Puss Mbake Grace Ministry. It's already on the right. Then Learn. 
The term appears in the Hebrew Old Testament once, precisely in 1 Chronicles chapter 25, verse 8. The passage reads, they cast, the, they cast lots to determine their responsibility. Oldest as well as youngest, teachers as well as student. That's New English translations of uh, translate Talmidim, that's the plural of Talmud by student. As indicated in the passage, Talmidim, as the plural of Talmud, is used in relation to a novice. Novice temple musicians who were trained to minister in songs to Yahweh. This detail entails that the Talmidim, that's the disciples, underwent some sort of formal training. In this light, Talmud in 1 Corinthians 25 verse 8 is best understood in the most basic sense of the term as one engaged in the learning process or an apprentice learning a trade. Citing uh, <laughs> Thank you.